Hi friends, this is Rahul Jain and in today's video we are going to discuss the ins and outs of dividend yield and dividend payout ratio. As per an estimate, legendary Warren Buffett's income from dividend is estimated to be 5.26 billion US dollars every year. And this dividend income is generated via seven stocks in his portfolio. More often than not, I see many young investors getting confused about critical dividend terminologies such as dividend yield, dividend payout ratio, etc. So in this video, I will help you understand these terms with practical examples. So the first very important concept is dividend yield. Let me ask you, if a company A has given 100 rupees dividend per share and a company B has given 200 rupees dividend per share, which company has given a higher dividend yield? You may say that company B has given more dividends. However, what if I say that company A's current share price is 1000 rupees per share and company B's current share price is 5000 rupees per share. So an investor in company B gets a dividend of 200 rupees at a price of 5000 rupees per share and an investor in company A gets a dividend of 100 rupees at a price of 1000 rupees per share. Which is better? This is where the concept of dividend yield comes into picture which allows you to compare dividends given by different companies irrespective of their share price. So in our example, company A's dividend yield will be 100 rupees divided by 1000 rupees equals to 10% and company B's dividend yield will be 200 rupees divided by 5000 rupees 4%. So dividend yield is equal to annual dividend per share divided by current share price. As we can see that annual dividend may change every year and at any given point in time share price of a stock may change so dividend yield is a dynamically changing value almost on a daily basis. While dividend yield is an extremely important KPI to compare dividends of different companies but because of changing share price its value may change a lot. Hence the second important criteria for selecting consistent dividend paying stocks is dividend payout ratio DPR which is simply expressed as dividend per share divided by earning per share EPS. So for an example if a company's earning per share in a financial year is 100 rupees and if the company decides to pay 40 rupees dividend per share dividend payout ratio will be 40 rupees divided by 100 rupees equals to 40%. 40% signifies that company distributed 40% of its profits to its shareholder as dividend in a particular year. Now comes the more interesting part. If a company has high dividend payout ratio consistently, that means the company has been paying out dividends consistently. For example, if we see dividend payout ratio of NMDC for the last 10 years, we will see that NMDC has been paying out a large portion of its earnings as dividends. While if we see Reliance Industries, dividend payout ratio is relatively lower as compared to NMDC. So in this way, you can analyze various companies using dividend payout ratio and easily find out companies that have been paying comparatively high dividends consistently. In summary, using dividend yield and dividend payout ratio, you can analyze dividend paying stocks. That's all for today's video. Hope you have understood the concepts of dividend yield and dividend payout ratios. See you in the next one. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.